Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my new subscribers as well, thank you for being here. Um, and if you're new, you're popping in, please consider subscribing, I'd love to have you. Um, so today we're doing a blind reading, okay? Hopefully there's a message in here for you guys. Um, so for group one we have Red Jasper Crystal. Um, for group two we have Honey Calcite. And then for group three, we have this dark jade crystal, okay? So, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. These are energies as well. If it's not your story, choose another pile, okay? And I'll see you there. Hey, group one. So if you chose um, this crystal and these cards, let's see what your message is, okay, for your blind reading. So we have um, dragon, flex, fle Jesus, there we go. Flexibility. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. And, oh. Selkie, we have... <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. Metamorphous. <laughs> um, you have to grow from the inside out. None can teach you. None can make you spiritual. Hmm. Okay, this is an interesting message here for you guys. Okay, what I'm getting here, okay, this is this is all talking about change for you guys, okay, with these two cards. Um, there's something, obviously, that needs to be changed in your life, okay, group one. But the thing that's happening here is I feel like you're just leaving it up to chance, like that card said, says there. You know, or leaving it up to the universe instead of actually doing something about these changes. Um... There's something here about spirituality as well. Maybe you've been trying to become more spiritual. Maybe there's not an understanding of spirituality here. It's just, I don't know, something very... Um, maybe you're looking, group one, for other people to teach you spirituality, okay? And I'm a believer in that. No one can teach you spirituality. It does come from within, okay? So... There is this, there is this change that I feel like group one needs to happen with you. But what is happening is you're just maybe just going with the flow. You're just leaving it up to chance. Um, maybe it's also your life is a bit up in the air at the moment, group one, and you're just you're just plodding along and just hoping things are going to just improve without actually doing anything about it. You know, if we don't take action, nothing is ever going to change. Sometimes we have to actually look at ourselves before we can change the situation that we're in. So let me have a look at what's going on with you, Group 1, okay? So tell me about this flexibility dragon card, please, Spirit. I'm going to clarify both those cards, okay? And see what these messages mean more. So tell me about this dragon and flexibility for Group 1. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. Mm-hmm. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. I'm actually going to put them there. Let me just check that you can see that. Oh, Nine of Cups. Let me get one more. This is the thing, automatically what I'm seeing here. Now, this literally is clarifying that card. You're leaving things up to chance here. Wheel of Fortune is up to fate, up to chance, up to luck. You know, it's, it's all that kind of thing here. And... And I'm seeing here this is to do with family, relationships, love. It's something to do with your personal life here, group one. <clears throat> Give me a few more, please, Spirit. Seven of Pentacles. And Judgment on the back of the deck. This is... <laughs> This is a wake up call with judgment, okay, group one. Um, this is something that you need to now wake up from. You need, need to now make a decision whether this is right for you or whether it's not right for you, okay? Is there something better out there for you? Is this, you know, is this enough for me here? Am I gonna just leave it up for ch uh, up to chance whether it's gonna get better for me? Um, you know, you've been putting in so much hard work with 
whatever this is here i do feel like this is a connection with somebody here you have been putting in so much effort and energy and um but it's like you're not you're not seeing any rewards here and it's like i'm just seeing you guys just keep going keep going you know things are going to change things are going to get better you know i want to clarify that will because there's something here that you're not either you're not seeing or you're finally going to be waking up from you know the ten of cups is all about your home life your relationship your your family um it's the happily ever after card It's like you're wishing for some you're wishing for this to happen or you're wishing to oh. <laughs> oh, let's let's see. Tell me about the wheel of fortune. Please for it. The ace of wands. Two of wands. Three of wands. Four of wands. Oh look at that guys. One, two, three, four. Maybe you want to actually look at um, the angel number one two three four as well there is a message there for you we've got emperor as well um So look, for some of you, okay, because there are quite a few watching here, okay, some of you, this could be that you're looking, you, you want to look elsewhere for a new connection, okay, you're looking for someone that you can have this happily ever after with. So some of you may actually be single and you're looking for your emperor, okay, and it's not happened yet, so it's just like you're, you're just leaving it to chance here. You know, this can be a new romance. This could be someone that you've just started seeing and what's happening is they're not really forthcoming in what it is that you really want. There is a choice here, okay? This is fate, literally the Wheel of Fortune. This is fate here. You can either stay in the situation that you are in and plod along and, just you know, hope for the best, hope things are going to change. Or it could be that you finally make a decision here to maybe move on. Look, everybody's got free will. I'm not telling you to do this, so don't go jump, do this, okay? You need to really think about this really hard. You've got like two, two options here. So plod along, keep putting in the hard work. You're not really seeing the reward. You're not really getting much out of it. Or there's something better here, which can be a new romance. Um... But the choice is yours. It's the road that you want to take here, okay? You've got two paths to follow. What path are you going to choose? You can either sit there and pine after something that you're you're hoping for, which is the Ten of Cups here, which is happily ever after. You can sit and yearn for it. You can daydream about it, dream about it, or you can actually take action. Because our ones are action cards, okay? It's... it's going forward and doing something about it we have the four of wands this is this twin flame if you believe in twin flames this is marriage commitment you know moving in together building a life together so you do you have another you have mm, group one this is complicated i mean don't get me wrong i understand the fear that's coming through on this pile because we don't know whether we're making the right decision or not for ourselves. Emperor energy as well is spirit saying you need to now get organised group one. You need to start putting things, making a plan, putting things into, you know, in order here. Maybe even write a list. I've said this before. Write a list of maybe like the pros and cons of, you know, if you're in a relationship of what this person brings to your relationship. A bit like that, um... <laughs> <laughs> just don't let anyone find that list okay group one um that episode if you were friends fans when ross wrote that um list the pros and cons with rachel and um julie julie judy or whatever her name was julie i think it was that was a fun episode anyway so let me have a look i want to get 
I want to clarify the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> clarify the Seven of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Temperance. Two of Cups. Six of Swords. Ace of Cups. You know, things are being delayed for you, you know. For some of you, this could be if you don't want to move on, if you're in a connection here, okay? This is you taking action and actually speaking up and saying to your partner, look, where is this going? What are we doing? You know, instead of just letting, letting your partner just plod along and have it all their way, you need to speak up here is what I'm seeing. Because then the choice is yours whether you want to stay or whether you want to move forward. We do have here that things could change, could actually change here in your connection that will lead to marriage. If that is what, you know, you're wanting. We have the Ace of Cups. You know, you love this person. I feel like this, whoever this is, they love you as well. You know, we've got Twin Flame, we've got Soulmate Connection here. So, you know, take what resonates, as I say. So you just need to find a balance in this connection here between both of you. Things are, I feel like things have been a bit all topsy-turvy at the moment with both of you because you're wanting something more. They're maybe not saying anything. They're maybe not fully committed. I don't see the Knight of Wands. But you can actually have this um, conversation here of where this connection's going. I mean, group one, it could even be that if you're not even in a connection, okay, and you've been waiting for this to happen, to meet this soulmate twin flame, it could even be with this met metamorphosis card here about um, spirituality here. Maybe this is what needs to change within you before you can meet this soulmate and this twin flame as well. So let me clarify the metamorphosis. Clarify this silky sil card, please, um, spirit. Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Two of Swords. Queen of Wands. Oh, you're you're very ungrounded, Group One. There's that Nine of Cups again. You've had the Nine of Cups twice. This is a wish wish that you've been wishing for. So for the majority of you, I'm actually picking up that you're not actually with someone, but this is what you're craving. This is what you're really wanting. You're wanting that soulmate to come in. But until you actually do something about your spirituality here, okay? And I know, it, don't, don't take that to, you know, don't take that to heart, guys, that, you know, you sitting there thinking, oh my God, I am spiritual, I, I do believe in the, you know, and everything else. This is not an attack on your character here. There's something that's very ungrounded with you at the moment, group um, one, and we need to find out what that is. You're not in alignment with yourself. We literally have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands reversed. So what could not be in alignment with you at the moment, group one, could be that you don't speak out because the Queen of Wands will actually talk. She would actually, I'm not saying she, they're, they're female cards, okay? So, you know, tell what resonates. Um, she will actually say what's on her mind. She will go after what she wants. She's not scared to go after what she wants, okay? She doesn't hold back. She's very confident. She's very strong. Um you know, confident, independent. And I feel like this is where you're unbalanced here, guys. That's, you know, take reverse that. You're not strong. You're not confident. You're not um, passionate about anything at the moment. And I feel like this is where, like, that energy of, well, you know, I'll just see what happens. There's no action being taken here to change yourself, to change your life. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles here as well. 
some of you, okay, and I'm going to say it because I'm an honest tarot reader, you may comfort eat quite a lot because you're so sad, you're not happy with yourself. So it's like, you know, you're not taking care of your, your vessel, okay, our body is our vessel. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all do that, you know. <laughs> but then there's you know, overeating sometimes or overindulging in something that you shouldn't be overindulging in, okay? You know, sometimes group one you can come across as a bit shallow as well. Please don't, don't leave me hate. <laughs> I'm just saying what I'm seeing here, okay? We really don't like to be told about ourselves, honestly. Nobody does. I don't. But this is what I'm seeing. There's a there's there's a lot of work that you need to do within yourself, Group One. So much work. You're very unhappy. And because of you being so ungrounded and all these things that's going on within you your within yourself here okay um you're postponing this this what you're looking for this soulmate or if you're in the connection you're postponing um moving forward with your partner because maybe your partner's looking at you thinking you know is this like is this what i really want but I am picking up more of the lines of if you are looking for the twin flame or the soulmate here, you need to do a lot of inner work on yourself here before it happens because literally you've got the nine of cups twice. You and I said you're you're sitting there, you're wishing, you're praying, you're dreaming, you're hoping for this to happen. And it will happen, but just not yet. So let's have a look, okay, um, let me use these again, <sighs> hang on a minute guys, I want to, I want to phrase this properly, how can um, group one work on their spirituality um, spirit here please, this is what is really, really coming through strongly here is your spirituality, you know, maybe do some meditation, guys. Get in tune with, with the divine. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you've just not found time, you know. Talk to your spirit guides. Yeah, look at that hangman. You're avoiding it. You're avoiding your 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 path that you should be on, okay? You're avoiding your spirituality. You've literally ignored that side of, the, the, of you. So maybe my group ones, you guys, some of you may just be popping in, having a nose at what a tarot reader is going to be saying today because, you you know, you want to find out something, I don't know, different. And now maybe some of you have actually stayed and thought, hang on a minute, you know, I need to hear this. So you are avoiding your spiritual side of yourself. You're more in the, in the physical than the actual spiritual. I hope that made sense. Tell me more, please, but what can um, Group 1 do to help with the spirituality? Jeez, you, okay, right, yo. Oh, okay, so we've got Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups in Reverse, Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, Three of Swords in Reverse, and the Chariot in Reverse. Um... We don't really have much Ace of Wands. Give me a minute. Blah, blah, blah. So we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We do have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, and Cancer. Okay. <laughs> so what can you do to help your spirituality? Is start facing the truth is what spirit is saying. Stop avoiding what's right in front of your face. And also when the Ace of Swords comes out, Spirit is saying that what the Tarot Reader is saying is the truth as well. But yeah, you need to you need to take action, okay? You need to do something about this. Stop avoiding it. Yeah. 
you know what holds you back group one it's like you don't have the time to do this it's like i feel like you're so busy with everything around you or maybe just stuck in your head like you know life does get in the way it is hard to find time to sit and meditate and you know my life is really hectic and then i've got to do this and i've got to do personal readings and i've got to run a home i've got to do school runs blah 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> shoot me anyway but you know when i find the time just as i'm going to bed that's when i wind down I do my meditation before going to bed because I know that is the only time that I can cram that in without being disturbed by dogs and kids and even though my kids are teenagers they're still freaking annoying but anyway um that might be what you need to do guys because life is getting in the way here and you're avoiding working you know working really hard on this And I'm harping on about it quite a bit, but I feel like this is a really important message for all you group ones that have tuned into this. If you want that wish, that happiness to happen, you need to start working within yourself. <clears throat> okay, you know, I said sometimes you can be a bit shallow, group one. Okay, I'm, I'm quite blunt. Part of you as well that needs to be worked on group one is you can come across as being like I said shallow but you are coming across as being very envious of others okay um jealous envy whatever one you want to resonate with so there's a bit of resentment here towards other people that are spiritual it makes me wonder if the person that had a go at me the other day has tuned into this part. <laughs> I shouldn't even bring that up. But anyway, some of you may not even know what I'm on about. I got attacked the other day um, for what I'm doing here. And the worst thing was she literally, and I don't care if you're watching, she literally is doing the same thing as me and it was very hurtful for you know you don't attack the people that you know you just don't do it okay it's not right and that to me is jealousy okay you don't you just don't there's no need for it no need it's like every time you go to do something group one Every time you maybe go to, to to tap into the divine or do some meditation, you just give up. You find a reason, you find an excuse to just give up and not do it. Maybe you feel as well, group one, that if you were, if you, and I'll take that as confirmation of what I was going to say with my dog's bucket, shh. Um, it could be that you don't want to open a can of worms if you maybe you've had trauma in your past okay and when we go down a spiritual awakening it opens the doors to a lot of hurt and a lot of grief and a lot of suffering that we've gone through but we have to go through that to get to you know to become in alignment you know at one with with spirit You're missing out on such a beautiful opportunity. What Spirit's saying here with Ace of Pentacles, okay? You're missing out. And Spirit is saying here, you can overcome this pain, this heartache that, that's holding you back. Something's happened to you, I feel like, very... Um, something deep has happened to you guys this is why you don't believe in spirit that's what I'm seeing you just, you've just you just switched off group one now I'm seeing that here with the three of swords in reverse so because you, you've switched off because you don't believe in in the divine because maybe you think well why would that happen to me we've all thought that um, you know how can that happen it's just the way it is. Now, I don't think anybody's got answers for that. And I feel like you guys are not believers, some of you. Or it is that you just, because of what happened to you, you've turned your back on spirit. 
and this is actually upsetting for spirit as well I'm feeling quite emotional here right now when I've got to this bit here because it's like they it's like you know when you see angels crying that kind of thing but spirit saying you can overcome this You just lost direction. You you lost group one. You've lost your way. And they want to help guide you back to the right path that you should be on. Yeah, something happened to your group one that you've you've never let this go. It's still there. Let me get advice from Spirit, okay? Because this is very sad. What advice would you give group one? I mean, that card's really scary. I'm sorry, that Selkie card. <laughs> it's actually really, really scary. Hopefully you can see it because it's up with the camera. Oh. Seven of Swords. You'd be an avoidant. Ten of Swords, yeah. more advice do you have you have the fall the empress the page of pentacles the tower the world mm. and literally what i just said group one okay you you are the empress the empress is the divine feminine she to become the empress you need to go through so many hardships in your life i mean from from a baby okay that's what i was picking up on something has happened along the way in your life uh, i think feel like for you group one a lot has happened in your life so now it's like you just don't want to you don't want to even think about the divine okay you're, you're just living living for the moment you're avoiding your destiny here okay you're avoiding your true path it's like you just don't want no bar of it because you feel betrayed because you feel let down by spirit you know and it weren't just one time that you were you were betrayed or or stabbed in the back or hurt it, it was multiple times you know more than 10 times but spirit is saying take that leap okay things are going to get better for you embrace this divine feminine side of yourself the the empress here You've got so much love buried within you, is what Spirit is saying. So much love. So, you know, you've hardened up over the years. And Spirit wants you to get back to the Empress where you will be forgiving, where you will be open to love. You will be open to what the Divine wants to give you. Spirit wants you to go back to your inner child here, okay? You, I feel like your work here, Spirit is helping you here. To get on the right path for you, group one, you need to do inner child work, shadow, shadow work as well. So that might be what you want to start looking into. You need to heal that inner child because a lot happened to you guys. Spirit saying this is a wake up call now, okay? You need to be woken up here. You need to break down those walls of what's been holding you back here. And I feel like Spirit is saying to you that we're trying to break those walls down. You know, we're trying to break down your old self, you know, that ego self. And put you back in alignment on your true path here with the world. This is your... Um, you need to complete your goal, okay? Your destiny here. So, you know, you need to bring to an end spirit of saying of what's happened to you in your life. You need to work on that. You need to close that chapter and you need to move forward. So let's get you some oracle cards, okay? So for group one, please spirit. Is the card going to come out? I'm not going to have to pick one out. That 
essentially. So we've got Avenue. Make peace with your past, Jesus. <laughs> this is only what I've been saying. Spirit really wants you to make peace with your past. Okay, group one. You can't make that up, can you? So let's get you one more. All right, two more then. So we've got efference, efference, whatever. Cultivate love. And then you, oh God, don't, please don't. Inoya, I think that says that. Everything in perfect balance. So, you know, you need to, you need to start loving yourself, okay, group one. You need to start. Maybe even showing other people love as well. I feel like you've got this huge wall. So nobody can approach you. They can approach you, but not in the sense of emotionally. You know, everything in perfect balance here as well. It's like you do need to balance yourself out. I said you were very ungrounded. And then everything will be perfect here for you, group one. did want to turn over goblins that did want to turn over and i'm going to say that take that you've literally got five five there as well this is five 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 in eight fives in angel numbers is breaking down your old beliefs people around you um it's really hard stage to go through but spirit does it for a reason to make you wake up Goblins here I'm seeing is that these little goblins are actually in your, it's in you, these goblins, it's eating away, you know, feeding that, that, you know, pain that you carry from the past here. You need to do away with these goblins. Moonlight. Look at that, 51, even though it's 51, we do have 555. Five. You know, we have the owl in the moon here, okay? I'm trying to see what else that is. Is that a wolf? Maybe I'm seeing things, but that's an owl in the moon here. You are somebody who is full of wisdom, okay? You can actually help other people as well, group one, because of what you've gone through. You know, like an inspiration to other people. The moon is also talking about um, our hidden emotions and feelings as well. It's just burying those feelings, that hurt, that pain. You're just burying it and you're not letting it out. And then the goblins are feeding into this. Let me get a message from your higher self as well. Jesus, that's a lot of kind of spirit, but I will take them for you guys. So we have... Divine masculine, there's it, there's excessive masculine energy that needs to be balanced in order to feel harmonious within. Take a step back and find a more feminine approach. Mm -hmm. So you've got this masculine energy that's going on with you, okay? You've come out as the Empress of the Divine Feminine, but you do need that balance. I mean, I keep saying it, you're, you're not in alignment with yourself, okay? You are very, like, ungrounded. So your masculine energy is coming out more in situations and in your life than your feminine side so you need to find a balance between the two this is coming from your higher self by the way and we've got all this flowing you are exactly where you are supposed to be if you don't feel good in your current circumstances it's only to show you contrast which will allow you to move towards what does feel good okay Show you contrast, which will. Mm. 
So at the moment, your higher self is saying you are where you're supposed to be. This could be some kind of, um, all of a sudden, the doors are open, you know, the, the floodgates, something is awakened due to all this. It's coming to the surface. We are in Venus retrograde at the moment. This is all about emotions, the past coming back. I mean, like, th this, this is it. I mean, for the past couple of days, I feel like it's really affecting, I don't know whether it's affecting other Aquarians, I'm not bloody sure, but... Um, the past couple of days I've been constantly thinking about the past and certain situations and certain people that I haven't seen for a long time and I don't know where that's come from I actually feel really drained today and I slept quite well it's that kind of thing okay and then we have don't wait to get picked don't chase anything that doesn't want to be caught cool. instead pick yourself up and forge your head so what could be happening here group one okay is that Maybe you're looking in the wrong direction. Maybe this is where the jealousy and envy is coming from because nobody notices you. And Spirit is saying here, don't wait to be picked. Pick yourself up and forge your head. And this is the problem. When I said it right at the beginning, that you're just waiting for this to happen. You're waiting for, you know, I don't know, this soulmate to drop on your lap. It's not going to happen until you start doing something about it, okay? And also working on your spirituality, you know, your your inner work. So we've got wait you allow will continue. Sorry, what you allow will continue. Your boundaries are currently being challenged, so you may learn the art of saying no and remember your power. And this is what I was saying earlier about the Queen of Wands. She will say no, she will say what she wants, she would, you know, she will do whatever. Your there's a fear here. That you feel like you can't say no. You just put up with whatever is going on around you because, I don't know, maybe you fear the consequences. Maybe you fear of being alone. Almost there. You have come this far to give up now. The seeds you've planted are beginning to flourish. So some of you, you know, you could be already working on your spirituality, opening those doors, but it's opening a lot of, you know, un old wounds here so we've got invest wisely invest your attention into things that support nurture and challenge you in healthy ways to help your soul bloom so maybe people around you some of them are not good for you um group one okay so let's get a personal message for you so for group one please for uh, only want one correction so that looks like the wheel of fortune that is the wheel so we've got correction so correction of self cannot be achieved until you choose not to confuse interpretation with fact or illusion with truth the reality you create while on your earth journey is created from experiences some will be positive and others negative Humans create the illusion of more magical existence to escape what is real and if this is taken away it can cause depression of the human mind. The earth is a dimensional world full of love and beauty. Humans cause the fear, ugliness, ugliness and hate that exists. When you recognise this the latter will fade and the love and beauty of you all will thrive in the truth reality. The, the truth reality you all are here to seek. Imagine a world where there was just love, empathy, compassion, unison, creating a magical earth, if only, hey? Right. Consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. So it could be, maybe you might need a bit of help with spirituality, okay? Maybe you don't understand it. Maybe you need to contact a therapist, okay? that I'm not a doctor, I'm just suggesting, okay? That, you know, an expert could be someone that you need to open up to, talk to, ask for help. There's nothing wrong with that. Bless changed change a major life change brings you great blessings there you go so once 
once you've gone through this journey, I feel like some of you are going through this right now. You are gonna, things are gonna change for, for, for the better for you guys. You're gonna get what you want. This wish here that you've been craving for and yearning for is going to happen. Have faith, okay? Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. So look at this as well, Route 1. We've got this on the back of the deck. Mother healing. So this could stem from a parental figure, from your mother. As your feelings towards your mother heal, your de desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Okay, so it could be a mother thing here, you know, wounds from the, the mother. always in motion so basically spirit is saying here oh look at this on the back of the deck oh okay i love this i love purple you literally got this one and this one on the back of the deck always in motion you came to serve so spirit is literally saying to you you came to this earth to serve so it could be for your ancestors okay so you may want to look into that as well Spirit wants you to always be in motion instead of maybe you're just, you're not going out, you're not doing anything, you're depressed, you know, you've closed yourself off from people, like what is the point? So, anyway, let's get you a question card, my loves. So think of your question or ask your question out loud and let's see what Spirit wants to say. And you know, group one, I've started your reading, okay, and my eyes, you know when you cry too much and they really burn after you've stopped crying, that's what I'm getting from your energy right now, group one, a lot of tears, hang on, get that out, signs point to yes, and by no means, that's very posh, <laughs> by no means, um, so anyway, uh, group one I'm gonna leave it there I hope this helps you um, and you have a lovely day much love hey group two so if you chose this crystal and these cards so let's look at your blind reading okay you only got one that's unusual I thought I got two for you oh no I left it there <laughs> you can't even see what I'm doing I actually left it behind on the side um, so anyway let's have a look so we've got Pegasus, we've got through meditation, which is elegant, sorry, through meditation you will be in love and through love you will be in meditation, okay? And then we have werewolf, nature. Oh, I'm out of breath. Look deep into nature and you will see, without rain, nothing grows. Learn to embrace the storms of your life. Hmm. Okay, group one, uh, two, I was going to say group one. There could be something here, okay, that spirit wants you to meditate more, okay, because it will open the doorway to love and vice versa. And also group two, it could be where you've had a lot of a lot of problems in your life, okay? Maybe a lot of hurt, a lot, you know, a lot of letdowns. Spirit wants you to embrace that, okay? Don't try to block it out, don't try to avoid it. But let's clarify these cards, okay? Let's see what else Spirit wants to say, because there's more to this. Tell me about this uh, Pegasus card for group two and elegance. So we've got the Ten of Wands and Death. And we actually do have the Queen of Wands. If 
from what I'm seeing here, okay, something needs to change is what Spirit's saying. There needs to be, maybe you've gone through a transformation. Maybe what's happened here in the past with this hurt and pain with the werewolf card, and I'm going to clarify that as well, group two. You've experienced a lot of problems. Like I said, a lot of burdens, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. It's here with the Ten of Wands. And you may have experienced something really like something sudden happened here that maybe you wasn't expecting it okay and something ended here but spirit is saying here don't lose this side of you group two which is the queen of cups you know you guys are my empaths you guys are my psychics you you guys are very loving you're very kind you're very motherly okay there's so much love within you group two spirit doesn't want this this to die maybe what happened to you here with death and this ten of wands it caused you to lose that part of yourself tell me about this death and this ten of wands so we do have scorpio we do have cancer scorpio prices as well we have the queen of pentacles you lost something valuable something that meant so much to you here tell me about this uh it, it could have even been finances but i don't know maybe even a mother figure you lost oh calm down okay so we have the six of pentacles ten of pentacles a family member six of wands in reverse and the page of swords five of cups this has caused you so much pain this is what i said straight away it's like you know the queen of cups can actually be also your mother figure but tell me what resonates these are energy so you can swap them around but i am actually seeing this may have been someone that crossed over and i don't usually see death that way the death card i see it as a transformation and that but i am really strongly picking up here that you've experienced some really like big loss recently for you guys and it has affected you so so much um and spirit doesn't want you to lose this side of you like i said this this beautiful energy of yours group to to you you know we do lose it i've lost a parent and we get a bit lost and we get a bit angry and a bit resentful and you know my dad was really young when he died and it's like you just you just don't understand it it's like how does that happen and that's what i'm getting here for you guys it's very sad actually very sad energy this so yeah you lost someone very very close to you that meant so much to you the world to you i'm going to clarify that and this has caused you nothing but grief heartache sadness tears I'm actually glad I did the blind reading today. I feel like it needed to be done. And this was so beautiful, this connection that you had here with the Queen of Pentacles, because this was, you both gave to each other here. It was mutual respect, mutual love, you know, understanding. You were there for one another. And when I said family member with the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, this can be a partner of yours, but I'm picking up more of a family member with the Ten of Pentacles. This this Queen of Pentacles could have actually left you a legacy as well, but that, that doesn't even, that doesn't, um, I am picking up, they may have left you everything here, but that's, that's not what you're about, group two. You're about the person that you loved. Why do you feel like you failed here? You're you're punishing yourself here. Tell me, Spirit, about the Six of Wands. Oh, they all nearly flew out there. Why does Group Two feel like they failed? Maybe you feel you're punishing yourself that maybe you didn't notice this person was ill. Um, I am picking up strongly here with the Page of Swords and the Six of Wands that you didn't pay enough attention to what was going on with the Queen of Pentacles here. Maybe you were going on and doing your thing in your own life like we all do and there's this huge guilt here of you not 
noticing there was a problem. Tell me about the Six of Wands, Nine of Wands. Six of Wands. That did want to come out. Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're punishing yourself here. It's like you feel so... So sad that you didn't take action when you should have taken action. And I'm, I'm hearing here, what Spirit is saying is there's not really much you could have actually have done group uh, two. So, and it's like you also, I'm picking up with you group two that I wish I was there more. I wish I'd seen them more. And it's like, this is what's going on with you at the moment. So we do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And it's like as well here with group two, you didn't want to cross a boundary with this person, okay? Maybe you feel like you were overstepping. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please, for group two. I'm shuffling, they're just coming out. Eight of Cups, the Moon, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, this person may not have passed over. Some of you, this person may have left your life. But I am picking up strongly, this person passed over. There's that Ten of Wands again. Ten of Wands again. This person left your life, okay? It's left you with a lot of questions. It's left you with a lot of pain um, of why they didn't tell me. You know, why did they keep it a secret? Because the moon is all about secrets. It was hidden from you. And I feel like because this was hidden for, from you, you didn't, you know, in a way it's a bit selfish when people do that. And I don't mean to be disrespectful, but it's just that you don't get given the opportunity to grieve with that person. You don't, you don't get to sit and talk with that person. You know, those last moments with, with that, that person that you love is really important. And you know why this energy I th did this? They didn't want you to be, um, they didn't want to burden you with this, because we do have the Ten of Wands. They wanted you to continue on this path that you were on where maybe you started a new job, you may have moved away, you may have started a new life somewhere else with someone, and they did not want that to be um, overshadowed by what was going on with this Queen of Pentacles. And that in a way is actually lovely, but sometimes they should give the other person a, a choice. So we do have um, Pisces as well. So now I wanna look at, do you know what? Because I haven't done my deceased loved ones uh, for a while and I do really need to do that, but there is a message I keep, keep my, I can't even explain it mum I'm sitting behind well my back is to some of my cards which have got the deceased loved ones cards and I keep seeing them behind me if you know what I mean I'm gonna get them just quickly for you guys hang on just very quickly there's a message here that this uh, energy wants to tell you and then I'm gonna move on with the other card So, Queen of Pentacles, what would you like to say to group two? Ooh, okay. So they want to tell you that they're I'm free of pain. Okay. Then we have remember I'm always by your side. Oh. And then we have believe in yourself I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles I've got goosebumps with this Queen of Pentacles they were like your cheerleader okay they were so like on your side and encouraging you and never 
this wasn't an energy that would make you feel bad about yourself this was a really good person and then we have please look at what you are eating something does not agree with you or oh, okay okay group two what are you eating <laughs> that's, okay that, see now that's a motherly thing to say because i know i would have a go at my my four children if they were eating something if you know that wasn't agreeing with them so okay that's a a funny message to come through but a sweet one let's get a couple more and then I'll... okay all right okay now so we have life is a school we have lessons to learn while we are alive i've always agreed with that this is our school earth no need to be sorry here you go and I, f I feel like that might be why i was drawn to these cards because you are feeling guilty group two maybe you couldn't be there maybe work got in the way life got in the way and you couldn't be there for them as much as you wanted to be towards the end and this energy this queen of pentacles really wants you to know please don't be sorry um i'm here with our pets that have passed over so if this queen of pentacles had some pets they want you to know they're with them I'll get a couple of messages with this is from this Queen of Pentacles here as well. So dear love, you are incredible and amazing. We are proud of you over here. So, you know, you are doing really, really well for yourself group um, to, you know, you've achieved so many things and it's like, I feel like sometimes you look back that you wish you could share this, you know, we do have the Six of Pentacles, you want to share this, you know, you can talk to your loved ones in spirit, they do listen and you can't share it with them and this is where the hurt comes from as well. Dear love, I am in my... Sorry, I am in my life review now, understanding how some of the de decisions <laughs> in my life may have affected others. If I knew then what I knew know now, I would... Oh my goodness, I can't talk. I would have done things differently. Please forgive me. Right, there you go. Like I said, there was a reason I grabbed these cards because where I was saying that this energy here, this Queen of Pentacles took away the choice that should have been yours at the end of the day whether you wanted to be there whether you wanted to see them through this and they didn't want you i don't think they just they didn't want to put you through that that but it wasn't their choice to make and now there's an understanding here of the choices that this energy made and you know they are sorry because i feel like that is what you carry with you group um Two, I feel like some, some of you as well with the Page of Swords that you may have actually heard from somebody else that this Queen of Pentacles was not well. And not from the actual horse's mouth, as they say. So we've got, dear love, just because I am not next to you does not mean you can't still talk. And that's what I just said, they are listening. That you can't still talk to me. I will hear you wherever you are. And we'll always respond, whether telepathically or through the energy of our hearts. Love never dies. And that's what you said. Talk to them. Dear love, whatever we did not complete in this lifetime, we will complete in the next. Even in death, I will always be with you. And when that time comes, I will be the first to welcome you with open arms. Until then, do not be afraid to live, loving you forever. You know, with that card there as well, Pegasus Group 2, it could be that maybe through meditation you can communicate more to your loved ones, you know, the ones that have passed over, you know. So let's have a look at this werewolf card. Hmm. So, Spirit, tell me about this werewolf and nature card for Group 2. So we have the tower, there's quite a lot here, temperance, two of wands, the emperor, the empress, wow, 
Nine of Pentacles, the Devil, Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Oh my God, what is going on? Page of Wands, and then the Ace of Swords. going on here like I said you've experienced some tower moments in your life group too just bear with me guys I'm trying to tap into this there's so much going on here that's why I feel like your life either at the moment or or was very um hectic very disruptive that's what i'm getting from all this here you've dealt with in it with devil energies quite a lot Someone that's toxic, someone that can be controlling, that likes to play games, and I'm seeing it's coming from a couple. Okay, this could either be an ex of yours or a couple here. I mean, they may have a child, okay, they may have children. Why am I hearing in laws? <laughs> I've just heard in laws, okay, so some of you that may resonate, okay. I feel like you've cut people out of your life here or you may need to cut people out of your life here which is this group right here with the devil energy you are you okay you're with your divine masculine or divine feminine here okay we have a couple you two are supposed to be together here And I feel like the reason why you walked away from these people because you needed to restore balance because they've done nothing but cause problems for you. It's like maybe this, this I don't know, this Queen of Wands looks like a right grump. Maybe the Queen of Wands didn't want you with the person that you're with. Maybe they caused a lot of problems for you. So you guys either moved away or you you left these these energies here at the bottom behind. going on here spirit hang on let's find out because it could be as well group two maybe if these people are still in your life you you are avoiding i mean this card card says learn to embrace the storms of life okay so it could be you are the type of people that avoid confrontation You'd rather just try and restore that balance, okay? Make that peace, even if you're not in the wrong. Just so these th these people here don't react or cause trouble for you. I feel like, you know, like I said, you're the Queen of Cups. You are a peacemaker here and it's like, sometimes that doesn't work. I mean, it even could be with the Emperor and the Empress energy here. This is you embracing your masculine and feminine side, you know? There is a change here within you as a person. Hmm, that's what I'm seeing here for you guys, that I said that you may have been left a legacy, okay? You may have been left everything here. And what's happened here is, you know, you're single, you know, some of you may be single, you may be in a relationship, but I am seeing that you're single and you are thriving okay F money funny <laughs> money is is you know but you, your purse strings are bursting at the seams okay but there is something very wrong down here 
Now this could be siblings, this could be family members, this could be in-laws, but this is to do with greed. This is to do with manipulation, you know. There were, ooh, tell me about this devil. This took a right funny old turn. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. You walked away from these people. I feel like this may actually be siblings. I feel like you had to distance yourself from this devil energy energies here. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Page of Wands, please. I mean, this could be a brother, sister, and and a younger sibling, you know. Look at this. It's to do with inheritance. It's to do with with the with um, assets. Look, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles again, and the Sun, Two of Wands. Wow. Three of Swords. We've also got the Three of Pentacles. I'm just pulling these off because we've got Judgment as well. I can see what it's saying here, but it's trying to get it out. <laughs> I can see exactly what's going on here, okay? There was a legacy that was left by the Queen of Pentacles. She's come through again. And um, I feel like she didn't leave anything to these three down here. There may just be two or three. Okay, this could even be a couple. Because as far as she was concerned, and like I say, this is a she card. I'm saying she because it's so much easier than, than saying this, that, the other. Okay, so you take what resonates. So she decided that that she wanted to leave everything to you group two okay this legacy was being left to you because you were there for her your relationship with this queen of pentacles was solid you built something together the other three here broke her heart okay she got nothing but crap from these three people here over the time you know the time of her, her the when she was here on earth okay she made a de the decision to leave this to you because she knew you wouldn't squander it away. You wouldn't you wouldn't do something stupid with it. She saw the truth. She saw saw exactly who was there for her, who was the genuine ones that that loved her for her. And she called judgment on this. She made her decision. She had a wake up call here in regards to these three right here. And this made her very happy to leave this to you, group two. Okay, that was her decision to make, nobody else's. But you're getting crap from these three down here and they're being so toxic. You know, I feel like they're, they're actually harassing you to the point of that you feel like maybe if I, if I, um, give them something they may leave me alone but that's not going to happen because the tower is there because they're going to keep wanting more they're going to you're going to end up if you're not careful you can end up losing everything because these people keep going i mean some of you may even be we don't have justice but some of you they may have threatened court cases you know like people like to appeal these uh um wheels you know because people can be freaking greedy um and that could be why they we've got the Emperor and Empress here. Spirit wants you to be in this energy of your masculine and your feminine side, okay? Do not lose that. Do not shy away from your problems. Don't even try to run away from it as well. I feel like Spirit really wants you to head, like, approach this head on. So let's get some advice from Spirit. We do have Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Again, we do have Leo. Um, so Spirit, what advice would you give group two? Five of Pentacles. Leave them out in the cold is what I'm hearing. Spiral, spiral, <laughs> spirit. There's that tower again. Um, the tower, and I said legal. Okay, justice is here. Spirit wants you to leave them out in the cold. Okay, do not give them nothing because if this Queen of Pentacles wanted to give them something, she would have given them something. They are causing you a lot of tower moments in your in your life, 
they're causing, you know, there could be a court case here. But you know, you are a strong person, you're the magician. You can cope with anything that is thrown at you. You are actually more clever than these people, let's just put it that way, okay? You know, Spirit is saying here with justice that, that what they did to this Queen of Pentacles was just wrong. And now it's, it's, you know, it can't be fixed because if they've passed over, they didn't fix it when the Queen of Pentacles was alive. Um, this, these energies caused a lot of problems, tower moments in the Queen of Pentacles life. I feel like some of you may be going through a court battle at the moment, but please listen to what Spirit's saying. Do not give them nothing. Leave them out in the cold. They don't deserve nothing here. Now, I would tell you whether Spirit's saying, oh, you know, it's fair, blah, blah, blah. But don't avoid... Don't avoid what's happening here. Maybe some of you are not taking the phone calls and you're getting the harassed elsewhere here. Don't avoid that Spirit saying... Use your magician energy here. Use your divine feminine and masculine energy here. You can cope with anything. So let's get you some oracle cards. So for group two, please, spirit. That was a very interesting read, group two. Very interesting. Um, Doble. Global? Is that, got, is that an arm sticking through with a key? The key is within your grasp. So maybe the answers that you're looking for, maybe it could be that... Maybe if this is a court case here going on, guys, it's finally there. You know, it, it's nearly there. And it could also be, you know, answer sometimes the key is, is questions that we have. And it could be that you're finally going to get those answers. Then we've got Naz, feel loved and proud. Yeah, you should feel proud of yourself. You should feel loved by this energy here, by the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like there's a lot of guilt here because maybe you... You do feel guilty because you're not a selfish energy group um, free. Maybe you feel like, yes, I should give them something, but, whoa, do not give it to them. And I'm a softy like that as well, but if I feel like, you know, maybe the key to these answers that you've been looking for, that maybe you don't know the full extent of what these people did to the Queen of Pentacles, and maybe that's going to be revealed to you, you know, you're going to become aware of that get one more that I wanted to turn I'm going to take it which the magic you seek is inside of you let it flow so some of you like I said you queen of cups you've got a gift yourselves guys let that that intuition flow let that um those psychic abilities f flow also let that empathic energy flow you can pick up when you're talking to someone on the phone or I feel like you pick up straight away the devil energy when these people are confronting you or talking to you or whatever you because you are empaths. So anyway, so for group two, please for it. So we have magic prayer. There it is again. Which magic prayer? Also meditation over there. Um, you you need to um start praying or meditating, okay? Because I feel like that's when the magic is is gonna flow with you. I feel like you guys are magic. My group twos. I feel like you are. You know, you've got the gift of being a witch. If you know what I mean. I feel like with you guys, I feel like. Whatever you manifest or say happens very quickly. There's something very powerful about you. Also, what I'm getting here is if maybe you were to... 
be careful what you say sometimes okay because if you do have this gift it tends to happen to people okay you know like in fairy tales where they say oh, i'll turn into a frog or or a mouse or what, that kind of thing but not literally you know what i mean it's just like you can send an evil eye and it will happen very quickly so just maybe be wary of that and then we've got ori desert so you're lost at the moment group too okay it's like you're wandering around in this desert with nowhere to go um you are feeling lost and maybe you do would like something with your family members here but i wouldn't i mean you've got to be careful as well this could be a warning of funds drying up if that's the case Okay, what next? So let's get you a little message from here. So for group two, please, Spirit. So we have caution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we have caution. Caution is human life self preservation mechanism. Your empathic sense, sixth sense, there you go, guys. I said empaths. Is your radar that picks up on others' energies. Wow, like, literally, I just said that. Please, please tap into that, okay? If they, are of, if they are of negative nature, then your antennas will go up and trigger the self-preservation caution energy. Throwing caution to the wind can work as a positive as it enables you to take your next leap of faith and ascension step. The secret is to know the authentic you, true soul-based sat-nav journey, and trust your inner intuition. Exactly, you are a sat-nav. It's built in in you guys, okay? So use it. You, witches come out, magic prayer. Yeah, you guys have got a gift. Use that gift and get a message from your higher selves. So for group two's higher self, please spirit. So we have little things. Find the little things in your everyday life that make you happy and one day you'll realise they are the big things. So maybe you're just roaming at the moment, you know, with this desert card here and life doesn't really have much meaning anymore because you're missing this Queen of Pentacles. But Spirit wants you to appreciate the little things. And then Rising Crescent. It's time to set a new goal or dream, or dream a new dream. You don't have to leave your comfort zone. Just expand it. And then this one is the path to inner peace. If you are not at peace with yourself, nothing you attract will bring you peace. Check your vibe. Exactly. Um, at the moment, you're not at peace here. You've got a lot of hurt from losing this person, a lot of regret. Um, you've also got a lot of trouble coming from these energies down here as well and um, so you really do need to check your vibe you do need to check your energy as well protect your energy group too because you guys are strong empathics here okay so oh, there's quite a few there but anyways let's do it dream big let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeed, succeeding. You know, that could be as well. Maybe you're at a stage in your life that, you know, job, the job-wise, the job front is not really appealing to you anymore. You're bored with it. You want to try something new. There's nothing wrong with trying something new, okay? Spirit wants you to dream big. We've even had a few things about that here as well. Make a decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision, okay? There's something you need to make it, it could even be about giving them funds. Um, it could be about changing jobs. And then we have have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your follow your guidance. Okay, so keep that positive energy up, guys. Um bless bless change. A major life change blessings. Sorry, a major life change brings you great blessings. You've got a big blessing coming to you guys. 
I mean, it could be this inheritance that you're not even aware of yet of what's involved. Maybe it is going through lawyers and things like that, but there is something that's coming to you guys that you deserve. Mother healing. Oh. As your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires to manifest rapidly and accurately. accurately. Guys, you need to heal this, this with your mother. I am picking up, it's a strong feminine energy that did pass over, but like I said, you can take what resonates, it can be any energy that you want to, you know, associate with, but it, I felt very strong motherly vibes in this reading. And she's there, and she is protecting you guys. So let's get you one of these. Life lessons again, and you are your purpose, okay? You're going through a life lesson again. Maybe you're wondering why this is happening, you know, why does this keep happening? It's just life lessons. I know it's crap. None of us want to go through that, but that's what Spirit's saying. It's your life lesson. And Spirit wants you to know that you are your purpose, not anything else. You are group two. So let's get you a question card, my loves. Okay, um, so think of your question or ask it out loud. So group two, please, spirit. And I just want to say, because I forgot to say it in group one, my subtitles on YouTube are not working at the moment. The, the English is working, that's fine, but the other languages, because I do have a few people that have, you know, from other countries that want them, they're not working. And I don't know what's wrong. And I have been looking for two days. And I'm going to keep looking, okay? So just be patient. So we've got not ever and depends on the day. So there could have been two things on your mind there, group uh, two, that you were swaying between asking one or the other and spirits picked up on it. Um, so one of them is not ever. So it could be about these locked down here. And the other one is it depends on the day, okay? So, my lovelies, if you like this video, please hit like. I really appreciate you guys staying and watching the video. Um, and you have a beautiful day. Much love. Hey, group three. So, if you chose this green crystal, this is your reading. So, let's see what messages you have. So, we have Phantom Cat. Vision. When one door closes, another opens. But often we look at closed doors and do not see open ones. Ooh, love that. And then we have um, Meteo, uh, Ma Maticor, Maticor, Manticor, oh, I don't know, Reconciliation, oh, suffering is not holding you, you are holding suffering, learn to let go, that is the key to happiness, hmm, group three, These, you know what, this blind reading today has been amazing for each pile, um, Look, I'm picking up straight away for you, group three, is that you're wanting a reconciliation with somebody, or are hoping this, this person may, you know, re want to reconnect. It could happen, it may not happen, but this is what Spirit is saying here. Sometimes a door closes for a reason, and for a really good reason, for something so much better for you guys, okay? But there's this you, this is like something holding you back here, hoping for this reconciliation. So we don't look at those um, open doors, okay? And then with this one, you're suffering, but you know, you're holding yourself back because you're still suffering here. Spirit wants you to let go because that is the key to happiness. I'm loving this for you guys as well. Like I said, they've been so random today and I'm glad I actually did these readings for all of you. Um... So let's have a look at Fan and Cat. Fan, Fan and? <laughs> so cockney. Phantom Cat. I ain't talking like that. That's never going to happen. But anyway, um, so Spirit, tap me into group three. Tell me about this Phantom Cat and Vision, please. Tell me about this. King of Swords. The Moon. Yeah, look at that. The world. It can't. <laughs> And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Look, you dealt with somebody that was very cold towards you, okay? Very distant, not loving at all, okay? 
this person may have been a bit militant in their behaviour. Um, they held back a lot from you. You wasn't getting anything from this energy, okay? Group um, three. You loved this person, yeah, you did. But you always knew that there was something holding this King of Swords back, you know. Maybe something happened to this King of Swords that they couldn't show their feelings, okay? Their emotions were just always beneath the surface and never really come up to the surface. Some of you could have been dealing with a narcissist because King of Swords can be seen as a narcissist. But this was a lesson Spirit is telling you. This is a lesson that this that you needed to learn. You needed to be with someone like this to then when you go move forward into another relationship, you then know that you can, you know, spot the red flags. You can then decide for yourself, no, I don't want to be with someone that is so closed off that is not open to love or affection or anything like that. This is what Spirit is saying. The world is closing a door, basically. So you literally got that card there about closing doors and this card with the world. So the Spirit is saying, take it down as, you know, put it down as a lesson. I know it's easier said than done when we're really hurting. And we're in Venus retrograde as well, which is bringing up a lot of emotions and the past and everything like that. Um, the Spirit wants you to work on yourself here. Work on what it is that you want. You don't need to... Relationship spirit is saying here, it doesn't need to be a problem here. It doesn't need to be a burden. I feel like group three, when you got with this energy here, you literally, it was a problem straight away. But you ignored those problems. You ignored those warning signs and you just plodded along hoping that this King of Swords would improve. But they didn't. This King of Swords may have lied to you about a lot of things as well, kept a lot of things hidden from you. I'm going to clarify these two because it is really important. So we do have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we do have Pisces. Okay, let's have a look. Tell me about this King of Swords. Why has my cheeks started to hurt? Maybe you guys were in um, all right, trigger warning here because my face, literally my cheekbone has literally just started hurting. May have ended up being a bit physical as well so let's have a look tell me about the king of swords and the moon you know it could have been that when you got with this king of swords you didn't see the warning signs you know they may have been like prince charming basically um and you didn't see the darkness that was hidden within this person until it was Till you were in it you know and sometimes when we're in it it's really hard to get out of it because we do love these people why sometimes i look back on those days and you think to yourself why <laughs> but this is all about learning tell me about the king of swords and the moon the queen of wands okay so we've got two of pentacles three of pentacles Six of Wands, King of Wands. So this you were a couple with this person, Nine of Swords and the Three of Wands. I just want to clarify something very quickly here. Okay. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, please. Thank you. Yep, look at this. King of Swords in reverse straight away. That's what I needed to check. This person had a multiple, like a, a, a maybe not multiple personality disorder or just like a Jekyll and Hyde energy. Okay, I said narcissist, he's come out in reverse, and I am saying he because it is a he card. Um, but take what resonates now. The King of Swords, you, you ended up with two people. Okay, there was two sides of the coin with this energy here very aggressive, very brutal, violent, controlling, and I did say trigger warning, so if it's upsetting guys, please don't stay. I'm not gonna go too much into detail of that, but like I said, my cheeks started hurting as soon as I started talking about that King of Swords. You know, and to the rest of the world, this energy would show them that he was very stable, this King of Swords, you know, I'm very solid, I'm stable, you can rely on me, 
you know, I've got my crap together. Um, but this was a facade. It was like, pfft, no, you didn't. This was just what you wanted the people to see. And this is what narcissists do, okay? I know people throw around narcissists quite a lot, but this is narcissists. Narcissists do not like to be hated. They do not like to be disliked. They do not like to, people to actually see past that facade, okay? They don't like that at all. They want to be seen as I'm Billy Big Balls. I won't say the actual swear word, but balls. You know, and you thought you could actually build something with this energy here. You guys were seen as someone that was like a, you know, like a power, power couple, both of you. Very attractive. This energy gets passed on their attractiveness. This is why I feel like a lot of men and women overlook what is actually right there in front of their face. They don't see it. You know, like I said, Prince Charming. It's like they don't see past the good looks. This is someone who's very, very beautiful, very, very handsome. But what they're hiding is a very dark side to themselves. This energy caused you a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of worry, a lot of tears. I can go on. But you were always hoping for change. You were always hoping that this energy here, group three, will, would change, you know, become the person that you wanted them to be. You know, you may have even asked them to help you, help, sorry, maybe like seek some kind of counselling here, but they wouldn't because, you know, you know, their ego is so big that they would never, ever um, lower themselves to those, the, those, you know, you know, it's beneath them. So we do have Leo Aries Sagittarius as well. This is why this energy, it needed to close, guys, but you're holding on to suffering. And you're holding on to a reconciliation. So let's look at this card as well, okay? Let's look at that. Yeah, let's get these ones. So Spirit, tell me about this reconciliation card for group three. It could be maybe this energy wants to reconcile with you and you you know they've hurt you too much and you would never give them a second look. But let's have a look. Tell me about this reconciliation. Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Swords. Hmm. High Priestess. Ten of Swords. Wow, even my, I really need to cleanse after your reading, group three. It's no offence to you, but, you know, sometimes we can get energetically attacked by the energies that we tune into, tap into, and we also could, um, but like literally now the top part of my lip is hurting as well, or inside my lip, I haven't even bitten it. You need to cleanse as well, group three, okay? You need to get this person out of your energy if that's what you want to do. But we do have a couple here that are separated because we do have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Um, Spirit is saying here, okay, if you were to reconcile with this energy here, If you was not to use your intuition, this person will do it again. They will betray you. They will cause nothing but grief here. You know, this can be violence as well with the Ten of Swords. Some of you, you know, they may have actually physically hurt your back, but you may be suffering with that even now. There's still something very wrong with this energy here, but it's your, you know, the des it's your choice, okay? It's, it's actually left up to... Destiny, I think, here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is, it could be fate. It could be, I feel like maybe with the Wheel of Fortune as well, it could be that you, 
you may be um, dealing with a karmic here, a karmic soulmate. You could be dealing with um, you know, your luck may change for the worse here. We've got the Queen of Swords. This is you guys. The Spirit is saying you have to protect yourself. This person hurt you deeply, you know, wounded you deeply with the Queen of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, please clarify the Wheel of Fortune, please, Spirit. What is hurting now? Wow. What the hell? Okay, I've actually, you know, maybe got choked up from energies and maybe pain somewhere else but like literally it's my face four of pentacles temperance you're desiring for a change here you're not letting go of the idea of reconciling with this person it could also be you're desiring to change you want to you want to leave the pain behind as well you want to restore balance um you want you want to feel at peace here with it all but something keeps pulling you back maybe group three if you've not seen my reading that i did the other day or last week or whenever um, it was who was pulling on your energy and why. Go have a look at that, okay? Because there, there is something very similar to this in in one of those piles. I'm not going to tell you what pile it is. Tell me more, please, Spirit, about this reconciliation here. Hangman, Queen of Cups. Yeah, you still love this person. Three of Swords. This person broke your heart. This is a... This, Son of the Swords. You're avoiding. You're avoiding. For some of you, okay? That. It's like you don't really want to face what this energy did to you. Maybe some of you, it wasn't physical violence. Maybe it was actual um, mental, okay? But you love this person so much and it's like you feel stuck. It's like you. It's like you, you don't want to let go of this. Spirit is saying it's time to move on, okay? It's time to let go with death. Move on. Find something else here. We've got the Three of Swords. This is somebody that, that broke your heart. This is a broken relationship. I feel like they are gone. It could be that even Spirit is stopping this energy from coming back to you because of what they did. Let me get some advice from Spirit here, okay? So what advice would you give group free? Oh God, I can't even shuffle these, they're so thick. <laughs> Thank you. Nine of Wands. The Emperor in Reverse. So we do have Aries, we do have Scorpio, we do have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Ace of Wands. The Spirit's advice to you is let go, okay? Put, put your energy and your passion into something else, someone else here, okay, guys? You know, this can be, you know, find someone new is what Spirit's saying. Ace of Wands can be a new relationship, a new love. You're dealing with um, an ungrounded masculine here, okay? Like the, the divine masculine is very ungrounded. This is somebody that um, abuses their power. They're excessive in their controlling. This is not somebody you want to be with, is what Spirit is saying. Please look elsewhere. There's something different out there for you. A second chance with somebody else here.
it's like you've got this weakness for this emperor here it's just like they make you i don't know this is just not it's not great guys you know this energy already tested your you know your, your courage was already tested with this person i feel like the courage was you left them what is now spirit is saying what is now drawing you back in is it you feel like you can't find somebody else with you know um is there no one else out there that's better maybe you feel like this is it yes we can love these people even though they don't deserve it tell me about this emperor in reverse i mean this could even be you being ungrounded you that needs to be in in alignment with your masculine side four of swords ace of swords please spirit saying please see the truth for what it is okay this a, a relationship was abusive is what spirit saying with the ace of swords it see the truth for what it is Spirit wants you to recover from this. Take, spend time alone. Don't rush into anything here. Okay, because emotionally you are very, very um, down, um, tired. But everybody has free will, like I say, you know, that's just spirit is trying to help you there by giving you this warning here that, you know, maybe you've started talking to this person again. So let's get you some oracle cards, okay guys? Um, let's have a look. So for group three, please spirit. So for group three, what message do you have? Hmm. Okay, oh god. Alright then. So we have Epoch. Pause in your journey. Yeah. Spirit does want you to pause with the Four of Swords as well. You know, take time out, think about things clearly. Protection, set personal boundaries. Now, I was just about to say about boundaries because we do have, um, where is it? It's, it's somewhere here. You need to lay down boundaries when it comes to people. You also need to lay down boundaries. Maybe if you were to get back with this person, set these to protect yourself. And then we have Fergun. Become a loving mirror. Yeah. You need to see... You, you know, maybe stand in front of the mirror and actually... I feel like group three... When you stand in the mirror, you hate what you see. You don't like what you see. That's not coming from you, Group 3. That's coming from what this King, King of Swords was saying and doing to you. So, you know, you need to look at yourself and you need to, to become that loving mirror. You need to start loving yourself again. I feel like there's a lot of work here. We've got Witch here in reverse. And it says, the magic you seek inside of you, let it flow. But that magic is blocked with reverse here. Okay, you guys could be very spiritual. We do have the high priestess, you know, but this energy blocks that. You being in this energy as well and the, being in their energy is blocking that flow. Then we have Euphoria. Honour yourself. Mm-hmm. Do this for yourself is what Spirit is saying. Okay, let's get some of these. Metaphor, metamorphosis. You need to transform, and that did come out in reverse, guys. There needs to be a change here. You need to become who you're supposed to be. This it could be the Queen of Wands here, someone who's very confident, you know, very strong and passionate about life and independent. It's like you don't need anybody else to, to make you feel whole. But this transformation, this change here is not happening at the moment because you're stuck in the past. You're stuck with the pain. 
I mean, it could have been the King of Swords may have been juggling you and they may have left you for somebody else after putting you through all that. So we have Rescue. Some of you could be feeling like you need rescuing by this person, maybe because you relied on them for everything. Spirit saying you don't need to be rescued here. One ring circus, yep. And this is makes me laugh actually because I said about the six of wands that you know, six of wands is, is someone sitting on a horse and everybody's cheering and you know, and this is what I'm seeing here is that with this energy it's, it is a circus basically, but it's a one man's man show, you know, or a one woman show. And then we've got into the unknown. Heal the ouch. Oh. You know, go into that unknown, guys. Um, you know, she is blindfolded here. She doesn't know where she's going. You feel, I am picking up, you guys feel really lost. I feel like this, I feel like there was codependency with this, this um, energy here. And it's, it's like a shock that it came to an end. And now you haven't got that person that constantly made you rely on them. That's part of, of controlling, you know, being, in, you know, these people controlling others. But Spirit is saying, you know, your hands are free here. You can actually rip off that blindfold, guys, and you can see your way. And Spirit's saying, heal the ouch. That's really cute. The little raccoon. That is a raccoon. Yeah. With her little hat on. Fixing the fox here. So Spirit wants you to heal that ouch, okay? Oh, that's made me smile. <laughs> so let's get a message from your higher self. So message for group three, please spirit. The labyrinth of life. You can choose to be lost in the labyrinth of life or use these trials to harness your inner strength and become out stronger and wiser. Exactly. You know... I say to quite a few of you when you comment and stuff, you know, I've been in a situation like this years ago. It it made me who I am today. It makes you stronger. It makes you appreciate the people around you. You know, you can take this, you can take these things that happen in your life to heart, you know, or you can embrace it and see it as, you know, this is part of your journey and it makes you stronger. This is what I'm saying about the Queen of Wands. She keeps looking at me. You need to embrace the Queen of Wands energy here, guys. You are enough. And that's what I'm saying, guys. That, that mirror one is very sad. You don't see what others see. You see what this King of Swords was telling you. You know, like brainwashing. You are enough. There's nothing to be fixed. Your authentic self is complete and whole. Don't ever doubt you who you are. You know, and with this circus card as well, guys, it could be that this person took the pee out of you, you know, made you out to be like a big joke, like a clown. You know, the clown is always the joke. The joke. You are enough, guys. This is what you need to start telling yourself. Maybe start doing some affirmations. Say that and I bet a whole load of bloody comes out. Okay. Don't get wait to get picked. Exactly. You're sitting here, mate's probably waiting. Maybe this person's told you, oh, you know, you did this and you've got to change, and you know, before I come back and, and all that crap that comes with it. Oh, I've got to find myself and all that rubbish, okay? And I'm taking the piss, but it does really annoy me when people use those excuses and it's just instead of just saying I don't want to be with you or I'm messing you around I know people don't say that because you know <laughs> but it would make life so much easier if they bloody well did anyway so don't chase anything that doesn't want to be caught instead pick yourself up and forge your head now we did have the page of swords on one of the back of the decks here earlier and I was looking at it you guys are still spying on this person, okay? You're still in their energy here. You're still looking at what they're doing. 
you know, are they with someone else? And it's like you're you're looking at this person's life and it's hurting you even more. Stop doing that, okay? The path to love, your divine soul partner is searching for you and soon you both will find each other. Stay the course and have faith. Exactly. What did I say at the beginning? It said that you don't realise that when that one door closes, another opens and that is for something so much more better than you've ever experienced. Look at the heart. They're made out of butterflies here. Your partner is searching for you. It's just you need to let go of this energy first. Oh my God, reconciliation again. Honestly. You can't make this up. There is someone or something that can still be saved if you choose to compromise, try to find the middle ground between two points. Yes, if that is what you want, group three, but you need to put those boundaries in place. Boundaries is very, very strong here. If you go back into this with this energy here, don't expect anything to change unless this person is willing to work on themselves, unless they're willing, you are willing to put boundaries in place and tell them, I'm never going to put up with this again. You know, it's it's not about them. It's about your safety and your, you know, it's about you, you know, what's right for you. So let's get a message here for you. So we have, this came out in the other one, correction. So correction of self cannot be achieved until you choose not to confuse interpretation with the fact or, or illusion with truth. The reality you create while your earth journey is created from your experiences. Some will be positive and others negative. Humans create the illusion of a more magical existence to escape what is real and if this is taken away it can cause depression of the human mind. The earth is a dimensional world full of love and beauty. Humans cause the fear, ugliness and hate that exists. Yep. When you recognise this, the latter will fade and the love and beauty of you all will thrive in the truth, reality. What? Hang on. The latter will fade and the love and beauty of you all will thrive in the truth, reality you all are here to seek didn't make sense or maybe it's just me imagine a world where there was just love empathy compassion union uni, unison creating a magical earth so it's time to start correcting things for yourselves now group three you know you've got to realize what's good for you and what's not good for you let's get some of these break free Try different ventures and experience as a way to grow and learn. I mean, literally, we've gone through so many cards here, guys, and it's repeating the same thing. It's the same thing, but like I say, everybody's got free will. You've got to do what you've got to do. Everybody's got to learn their lessons in life, you know. We're all on a journey. Mother healing. As your feelings towards your mother heal, your des desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. That's come out in every pile. So we've got a lot of people here in these um, piles that may have um, childhood trauma, you know, that needs to be healed, you know, mother healing. So let's get a question. So think of a question, guys, or ask it out loud and let's see what Spirit says. So for group three, please, Spirit. without fail okay so spirit saying without fail so group three i'm gonna leave it there guys um thank you for staying and watching i really appreciate you all and if you like this video please hit like that really helps as well and you have a beautiful day guys much love